Hi guys, it's uh, Inam Gavor here with the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone and what we're going to be doing in this video is showing you how you can route your device and give you that enhanced level of administrator access to do tasks like uh, removing carrier network carrier applications like the Video Hub or some of the inbuilt applications like the Playbox Hubs or even install applications like that need that enhanced level of access like Titanium Backup for example. So uh, in order to go through this process, what you're going to need to do is check your model number to make sure you've got the same one here, which is a GT-i9-300 or with a variant T for Tango at the end of it. Any other variation of the Galaxy S3, this process may not work. It may even brick your phone. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it if you've got any other variations. I will also take this opportunity to just point out that neither myself or Samsung uh, take any responsibility for anything that may go wrong with your phone as a result or if this doesn't work at all for you so do it at your own risk you can see that it's running Android version 4.0.4 .4, being ice cream sandwich and a baseband version of XXLE8 the next thing you need to do is turn on USB debugging on your Galaxy S3 smartphone so again how you can get to it is go to menu settings scroll all the way down to where it says developer options and then put a tick next to USB debugging and even uh, once the warning appears click OK to it and then come out the phone uh, turn off the device once the phone's off we'll put it into download mode the phone doesn't take too long to shut off it should vibrate once it's off as it does there now to get into download mode what you need to do is press the volume down rocker the home button and the power button all together until the device switches off so we'll just press those there you go it goes in pretty quick once it's in you can let go of the buttons and just to give you an idea of what's on the screen you can see it says warning a custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and installed applications if you want to download a custom OS press the volume up key otherwise press the volume down key to cancel and then it gives you options for volume up and volume down we know what we're doing so we're going to press volume up and then it takes you to the downloading mode as it is here. Connect the USB cable so it's connected to a computer. The driver's already installed in initially because it, they were installed when we first plugged in the, the smartphone to the machine to work as a media device. So that's now connected and what we're going to be doing is before we load up Odin you can see that there's a CF root file which is a zip file that I've downloaded to put on my desktop. As I say I will put a link to uh, this file on or should I say Odin and this file in the description of the video so once you've got the zip file what you need to do is extract the zip file only once so I'm going to extract it here and there you go I'm just going to move the zip file out of the way and move the zip extracted file here the extracted file should have a dot tar dot tar file extension at the end if you extract it and you come up with two uh, files called image and another one then you've extracted too far you need to extract the downloaded file only once so you have the dot tar file extension there next we need to open up Odin as well I've got there I'm running Windows 7 so I'll accept that security warning here we go so you can see Odin's open here you've got the yellow box on the left hand side just symbolizing that the phone is connected to the computer and Odin is enabled if you don't have the yellow box there, I'd recommend that you check your cable in and reinstall your drivers for uh, your phone. Once you're happy there, uh, go down to options here. Leave these as standard. Do not check any other tick boxes that are in this area here. Just ensure that the auto reboot and the reset timer are ticked and nothing else is ticked at all. Next, what you need to do is go down to where it says PDA on the files download section. Put a tick next to where it says PDA and then hit the PDA button then navigate to the file that we extracted on our desktop that TAR file I'm just going to go to my desktop and scroll down there's a TAR file hit open and then it puts a path in there now we're ready to rock so all you need to do is hit start and you can see it's going pretty quickly there and also on the phone as well you can see the progress bar going across now it's finished you get a green pass uh, on uh, Odin but on the phone you can see it's already rebooting because it's installed uh, the root file and installed clockwork mod recovery as standard as well
and then they should reboot twice. Once you get the green pass, obviously, on Odin, you're done, so you can close that down. I'll get rid of that. We'll just wait for the phone to boot back up, and it says it's going through Android is upgrading. Just finishing off the process. There you go, that's done, so we'll just swipe into the phone. Now, what we'll do is we'll just go through, go into the app section, sorry, and then we should see, there we go, the Super SU, the Super User Application, and then you've got the Clockwork Mod Recovery Application as well there. Okay, another way you can test that this is actually working, I've got Titanium Backup, so I'll hit that, and normally if you don't have root access, it says something like access denied or you can't run it because you don't have root access there you go so it's asking for root access comes up with a super user request uh, and we'll grant it there you go and it's done it says it's uh, it's got the root access and it's, and it's ticked all the boxes there so root access is working on the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone any questions or comments regarding that route procedure that we've gone through, please hit them up down in the comment section below there. Hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's free. And you can check out what I'm doing in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see you next time.